It is time for some package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to the channel. And today's video we got ourselves a pretty unique yeah, keyboard and mouse combination. The box is a little bit bust up, but uh, yeah, this is the Air Mouse. And if you're for the gamers, if you're familiar with familiar, so if you're familiar with the Wii from Nintendo, this is more a little bit like the same. So you can just use the remote itself for yeah, selecting or moving your cursor and selecting the things you want to select. Um, you see these uh, remotes very often nowadays with some more expensive QLED TVs. Um, so far I know the LG are using these uh, remotes. I really love it and uh, I saw or I noticed this product in the uh, look over in the Chinese store and I just wanted to show you what are we going to get. And of course, does it even work? It comes in this uh, yeah, buster box. All right. Who cares about the packaging? Hey, we got a little piece of toilet manual. Ah, and here we have a little explanation. I will keep it closer to the camera. With a little overview, what are the buttons for? And I will say, very decent piece of manual. And here we can see how it works. All right, let's take a close look at the remote itself. Oh, the first thing I'm noticing it's quite heavy. It's not that cheap as uh, light plastic uh, remote. So at the front panel we having, or the front side we having here, everything you need to. Yes, you can use it on your TV box or television. Um, for powering on, on, off, uh, everything you need, um, skipping, searching, okay, here we can select through the main menu, that is really nice clicky to touch to it, even volume control and program, um, so there are a lot of, you can just forget your, your uh, basic uh, remote. And on the other side we are finding a small keyboard, so if you need to type something for in the search, you also can do this very easily with this remote. So, uh, now we can use it like, uh, yeah, let's say a Wii remote from Nintendo. And then we're going to test it out on my television, uh, because I'm very curious how does it work. Where are the batteries by the way? Ah, here they hide it, alright. No power supply or something, so uh, we need to use two AAA batteries and uh, let's just take them in and uh, let's see. I've plugged in the dongle uh, behind my television and I must say it is very responsive. I think if you put it in an Android box in the front USB, it, it is possible that it works a little bit better. But then overall, not bad at all. Um, I'm holding the remote horizontal now. And that's not working very well. Vertically, it works better. All right. Um, yeah, you can use the buttons for yeah scrolling through the yeah scrolling through the uh, list of movies and pressing the OK. We can select it. There is only one thing: the back button doesn't work in this thing. I'm now pressing the back button. As you can you can hear it, but nothing is happening. So keep in mind for smart television, not all the functions of the remote are working. There is something very weird. If I power it off. It powers off, but I can power it on. So this is a little bit of a bummer. So for an Android box, it will works just fine. All right, let's go to the search, zoeken in Dutch language, and let's check out if the remote is working. At this, oh wait, wait, wait. I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, I want to search. All right, can I type? Oh, the other six times it works. 
No, it doesn't. Oh man, like, oh, oh, wait, something is going on, people. Something is going on, something is going on. I really no clue why. Go to the home page. Go to the search bar. Ah, now it's working. All right, so even the keyboard is working. So that's something I really love about this uh, remote, that you can use it like an, yeah, an air mouse, or you can use it like a keyboard, or your basic your remote. So that's really neat. So for the final conclusion about the Rowell, uh, it's in more like a keyboard, remote and mouse combination. I want to point out this thing was not very cheap if you compare this with just your regular keyboard you can buy for your smart television or yeah, let's say TV box. But I must say I really love the function of it. So we have just one remote or I think that's the idea behind it. You have one remote you can yeah, control your TV box or your television. So but yeah, what I already noticed that not all of these functions were working on my television and the weirdest part that I can shut down my television but I cannot power it on, a little bit of a bummer. But yeah, and overall the 3D mouse works fine. Um, the keyboard function, it's a really nice thing because I'm missing out in keyboard most of the time if I'm trying to search something. So and overall, I think it's worth the money. Let me know what do you think of this. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell and see you next time. Bye-bye.